Hello, it is Friday, March 17th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Friday puzzle today, which means we are solving a themeless crossword. No theme today, just clues, just solving straight into the grid. And this themeless edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Josh Lucas, Bradley Pirtle, Alex, and as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Showmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign for their generous support in bringing us this series, sustaining this channel. I do very much appreciate that. And thank you to all of my patrons for keeping this channel going. Uh, If you'd like to become one of them, if you'd like to uh, uh, contribute to the ongoing sustainability of this channel, um, you can do that at patreon.com slash daily solve or in a link at the description field underneath the video. And in doing so, as a a, uh, benefactor, you'll get the daily solve Let's Check the Crosses mug. And as a patron at any level, of course, you'll get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week This week, that, of course, already includes um, another acrostic puzzle and the first puzzle, well, the practice puzzle of the current Boss Words uh, Spring Themeless League. And I think there is, I can't remember when the next, when Boss Words Week 1 is going up, but I think it might be today. It's going up soon in any case, or or maybe it's, well, I don't know, it's soon. (laughs) Look forward to that. Um, And um, yes, and thank you again to everybody who is a patron. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you can also subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Please do so if you've not yet gotten around to it. That's a big help. And you can subscribe. You can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. Nice, friendly chat community. There's a link in the description field uh, to that as well. All right. So let's get on to today's actual puzzle. This is a crossword by Carter Cobb, a debut construction, one of quite a few we've had of those recently. And it was edited as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. Let's see what sort of themeless challenge we have in store for us today. Pretty open grid here. Um, all right, staples of horror movies. Not sure, something like, I don't know, Killers or something, I don't really know what this is going to be. Alternatives to GIFs could be JPEGs maybe, or Just trying to think of other, it's, it's an image file format, um, common on the internet. So that could be 1967 song by the monkeys. Is there a monkey song called she that sort of seems plausible and would fit the, the cross? Gulp. Uh-oh, I suppose. Um, the brackets mean uh, the gulp is sort of a sound that you would emit rather than, than a word. Um, but in this case, it would be replaced by words. Uh-oh. Garam masala spice. Garam masala has what? Cumin, uh, could have coriander, uh, might have cinnamon, maybe. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Follower of all or turn. All. This kind of looks like jump. Jump scares? That's, that's a horror movie term. When something sort of pops onto the screen and it's and it's shocking, so all pro, all pro, or turn pro, you go pro. That sounds right. Um, and mace could be a garam masala spice. All right, there we go. Um, past uh, the um, spice blend uh, that I think means no. Oh, Never mind. I I was going to say, I think it has something to do with kind of being a kind of top shelf blend or something, but I could be misremembering that. In any case, pest so named because it was originally found in royal tombs. Pharaoh's... Pharaoh what? I don't know. I mean, surely it starts with this, though. Slangy lunch fare. Maybe a contraction of sandwich, like Sammy or something. I'm not sure. Kathy or Luann. Those are newspaper comic strips. Um, I do remember those vaguely. Moment. Well, I remember Kathy. I sort of vaguely remember Luann. Uh, moments of clarity. Ahas, aha moments, you could say. That seems plausible. Go off. 
rot if food goes off at um or rant you go off you rant at somebody that could be oh pharaoh ant maybe at serious risk endangered there we go and animal species for instance could be at serious risk endangered feed Uh, this looks like go commando oh, join, join a boxer rebellion go commando there we go so it's not referring to the boxer rebellion in china around the turn of the uh, 19th to 20th century but rather the concept of going commando sleeping in the nude without your boxers you're rebelling against the boxers that's a it's a clever clue all right um maybe sandwich a sort of Elision of sandwich. I'm not sure. Learning opportunity, so to speak. A mistake could be an opportunity to learn. There we go. So maybe this maybe this is Sammy Sammy's with pluralized because fair, as in lunch fair, could is could equally be singular or plural. Gelosity maker. Do not know what that is. Is that a brand? Maybe it's a Bic pen, possibly? A gel pen? That seems plausible. Oh, here we go. Another alternative an alternative to GIFs. Um, is it another image format? What is this? I'm not sure. First aid provider. And carriage with its horse. Not sure about that either. This looks like stoke. Yes, feed as in stoke a fire, feed a fire with fuel. Um, superlatively or or um or oxygen, I guess, sort of um pump oxygen into it. Superlatively swell. Uh neatest. So superlatively meaning the the highest degree of this thing, and swell meaning neat, cool, that sort of thing, and in light slang, I suppose. Not fast. To eat is to not fast, to not refrain from eating. Easily pull, easily put out, sorry, easily put out is you're tense, maybe. You're easily, so if you're put out, you're sort of irritated. And if you're easily irritated, you're tense, perhaps. It could be. Some china, maybe tea sets. Tea sets often made of china, porcelain. Tech giant once known as multi-tech. Never heard of this, but maybe it's Acer, the <laughs> official laptop manufacturer of the New York Times crossword. I know they manufacture other things. Um, I just think of it because it's been in the crossword a fair few times and the A fits. So let's see. Epic. Could be a verb or a noun. I'm not sure. Neck and neck. And retirement plan whose prospects are looking good, question mark. Whose prospects are looking good. Mm. Isn't for you? Aren't? You aren't doing it? In other words, um, just conjugating the, the is not for you rather than for he or she. He isn't, you aren't, is what I'm getting at there. But it doesn't fit it with T sets, which could be wrong. I don't know. It could, it could mean hello or goodbye. Chow, maybe? Oh, tea cups, maybe? Still doesn't work here. I still, I mean, I could be misinterpreting isn't for you. Uh, let's put in chow and see if it helps. Epic. Something NG. Neck and neck. Don't know. Not very confident about any of these. So I'm going to delete it for now and move on and get some crosses. Four-time Emmy winner Woodard. Oh, I've encountered this name before, but I... Oh, Alf, Alfrey, maybe. Oh, I don't think that's who I was thinking of in the crossword, but maybe it's probably been in the crossword as well. But I recognize this name, and I can't think who this is. <laughs> um, but it just looks familiar. Patch, e.g., to sew, maybe? You patch an article of clothing, you sew it? Not sure about that. Let's. I'm going to leave it in for now. We'll, we'll remember that I'm not certain. Q neighbor. neighbor. 
tab on a keyboard. I just looked down at my keyboard to confirm. Yes, it is the tab key. It is the neighbor of the Q key. Browns, e.g. Hmm. Could be brown. I mean, there could be some noun that is browns, or it could be browns as in Sears food. Um, but I'm not sure. Uh, what else can we get? One's calling across the ocean, question mark. One's calling across the ocean. And just for kicks and giggles, as fun? We did it as fun? Oh, this looks like blue. Blue waters? Why would that be? Doesn't seem right. Browns, e.g. Hmm. Still not sure about this. Moreover, and. Moreover, simply meaning more of something and it. Okay, well, not moreover, but meaning besides. This happened, moreover, that happened. This happened, and that happened. Okay, what else can I solve here? Ride at some amusement parks. This almost looks like it's supposed to be a name, but I can't in a misdirected sort of way, but I don't know why that would, it doesn't seem like that would make any sense. A uh, bit of film, a strip of film or, oh, alga maybe on a, maybe not cinematic film, but film on a pond or something. Not sure if that's right. Queen with a protege. A, dr a drag mother maybe. So queen as in a drag queen with a protege, with a sort of, you know, younger charge, essentially. Um, that's clever. I think that might be right. First aid provider. I'm, I, when I see first aid provider like this, what I sort of expect this to be is, you know, the first person who provided aid in you know, a mythical setting or the Bible or something like that. But I, I could be, re I'm probably overthinking it already. I mean, it could be medic if not for Sammy's, but I don't think it is. Um, okay. Colorless bodily fluid. Um, I feel as though I should be able to bring this to mind and I can't. Uh, that's very irritating. Unimaginative, ho-hum or boring or, I'm sure, it's just past due. Oh, I bet it's just past a due. So uh, it would be, so, I mean, due would be two. Would it be, maybe this isn't some China, or sorry, that's it's obviously, that's the clue. Maybe this doesn't end with an S. Could it be tre or something? Some China. Give hints about, but not more. Tease? I'm going to give hints about our plans. I'm going to tease our plans. That seems that seems very plausible. English lit, maybe? English literature here? Examined as a dog might. Sniffed, possibly. That's a way that dogs kind of investigate things. Lead into cast or castle. Um, I'm not sure about that castle, especially school group internally, in, informally, sorry, frat, a fraternity at a, at a university, U.S. university. Um, I, maybe North American. I assume they do that in Canada as well, Pre but I'm not sure. Prepare some leaves for burning. Like some online purchases. Hmm. Entertains with over. Has over. You entertain your friends. You have them over. Colorless body fluid. Why can't... Uh, Hema? Why can't I think what this is? Unimaginative. What else can I get here? Pallid. Ashy. If you're sort of... Your face is pallid and pale and ashy. Ashen, I think we'd more commonly say. NFL divisions. Yards, maybe? So yards on an NFL field. I think ready to be driven. I don't know. Shod as in horses can be ready to be. Um, 
ready to be driven, I'm not sure. Mixes things up, say, errors, makes a mistake. And that say is, I think we've actually had that a couple of times in this in this puzzle. I haven't addressed it directly yet, but um, to mix things up isn't doesn't isn't a isn't a synonym for error to make an error, but it's often an example of an error. Mixing things up is often an error. So that's why I say here is saying, well, you know, mixing things up, say that's one way you could make an error. It's basically what that's doing. Okay, possible souvenir from a surgery. Um some kind of scar or pain or something? I don't know. One seeing stars upon waking, perhaps. Probably ends with ER and ready to be driven. Oh, teed as in a golf ball is teed. Possible souvenir from a surgery. Oh, a metal plate maybe that's been implanted. Right, okay. So first aid provider. Why can I not see what this is? It really does look like medic, doesn't it? Is slangy lunch fair? Oh, it is. It is medic, and this is sandwich. Ah, okay, it's even an even slangier sort of, well, I don't know. I guess Sammy and sandwich are kind of similarly slangy. Uh, browns, e.g. earth tases. That does, why would that make any sense? It doesn't. Uh, ride at some amusement parks. Can also be teacups, <laughs> like the China set, but it doesn't fit, of course. Alternatives to GIFs. Colorless bodily, oh, lymph, lymph, there we go. You know, what? what's, um, I don't know, created by your lymph nodes. There we go. Alternatives to GIFs are, probably ends with an S still. Why do I not see what this is? Apologies if my pronunciation of GIF is irritating you. It's just... I have to, I know some people prefer GIF, but it's just not what comes naturally to me. Um, unimaginative, unimaginative, prosaic. There we go. Something's prosaic. It's sort of run of the mill. It's not not as remarkable. An early riser see, may see stars on upon waking because it's still dark out. There we go. A ride at some amusement parks could be a tram, could maybe shuttle you around the park. So what is this big maps? That doesn't seem right at all. Bit oh bit maps. Oh wow, right. A bitmap image is a completely uncompressed image. Actually, a, a GIF sort of is that in, in, in some ways, or can be. Um Browns, e.g. Um Earth. What do I what am I missing about this? Q neighbor is definitely tab. Browns. Earth tones. Oh, right. As fun was wrong. I knew that sounded strange. In fun. We did it in fun. We did it just for kicks and giggles. Sorry about that. Uh, that threw me off unnecessarily. A carriage with its horse. Is it a rig? Prepare some leaves for burning. Roll a... Oh, roll a cigar. There's a question mark here. It's a pun. I should have taken that into account. So you're going to roll some tobacco leaves to burn, to, to smoke the cigar. So you're going to roll a cigar. There we go. All right, and yes, that question mark indicates punnery or wordplay, which I did not initially uh, consider. Okay, one fearful of crowded places is an agoraphobe. And if one flew overseas, question mark, flew overseas. I wonder if it... I'm going to say maybe it means the verb flew in a foreign language, but I think overseas would be a single word if that were the case. But I don't know. It... Maybe the punniness makes up for that. Wannabes are pretenders. There we go. And like some online purchases, in-app purchases, right? Big thing these days on smartphones. Oh, paras parasailed maybe. Flew overseas. You literally flew overseas. You parasailed. That's clever. Well, essentially... Hail is in hail and hearty, but agoraphobe is certainly correct. Modern ride could be an Uber rideshare. Um, well, one rideshare brand. Hotel capacity could be the number of beds it contains. And a pivotal part of a revolution could be the hub of a wheel, maybe, as in a pivot point of a wheel, as opposed to a revolution like a revolt, like the Boxer Rebellion, which in this case also wasn't that kind of revolution um, or rebellion. 
Well, essentially. Oh, a well as in a water well is essentially a hole. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Dense buildup in makeup powder containers. Um, dense buildup in makeup powder containers. Something pan, hard pan. Oops, what was this again? Oh, I never, oh, blue whales, one's calling across the ocean. Oh, that's very clever. Referring to whale song. Oh, that's, that's a great clue. One's calling across the ocean. Some China, so it is some kind of tea something, but I've just, none of my guesses have been correct. Tea, yeah, epic. And neck and neck. And retirement plan whose prospects are not, or sorry, are looking good. Um, oh, commoner could be a pleb, plebeian. Oh, I'm sorry, I just, I haven't looked at these crosses. What have I been doing? Rocker Grohl is Dave Grohl, former um, Nirvana drummer and Foo Fighter frontman. So locking lips by the lockers, e.g. for short, uh, PDA, public display of affection, locking lips by the, so kissing by the lockers in school, for instance. All right, if you, so a spot, so this could be a spot or you spotting somebody. Or, right, okay, it could be acne, a spot on one's face, maybe. And epic, maybe not, maybe this is wrong. Neck and neck, even Stephen, oh, right, okay. So is neatest actually, oh, no, no, this is correct. It's tense that's wrong. Okay. So uh, easily put out. Testy, that's better than tense. You could be easily put out if you're tense, but maybe you're tense, but also have, you know, control over this element of your personality. But someone testy, that expressly means they're easily put out. Retirement plan whose prospects are looking good. Um, I just cannot see that. That's so frustrating. Okay, epic, large scale. There we go. That's what I wanted that to be at one point, but I, I ruled it out um, because of this testy, um, tense thing. Oh, that's so frustrating. A spot could be an area, I see. Just a casual usage of the word spot. And a game game from Africa is a new uh, game as in a game animal. And then, oh, beauty, beauty rest, retirement plan. Is, ah, that's another very clever clue. A beauty rest could be a plan for retirement. In other words, retirement meaning sleep. And the prospects of that plan are looking good. So the, the purpose of it is to look good. Uh, that's very clever. It can mean hello or goodbye. A wave can mean either of those things. Oh, tea wear, some China. Okay, that's fair enough. You don't really hear, hear that phrase very often, tea wear, as often as you would say table wear or something, but fair enough. And then isn't for you was aren't after all of that. Uh, good thing to conclude on. And then hard pan, indeed, the dense buildup and makeup powder containers. All right. Well, I'm glad Arndt was correct at the end. And there we go. That was the New York Times crossword for Friday, March 17th, 2023. And a very nice Friday puzzle full of punniness and vagueness. So Browns, e.g. being earth tones. I mean, it's one of those things where in retrospect, sure, of course, Browns are earth tones, but Browns can mean so many different things. I mean, it's even a sports team. Uh, it, and so until you have enough crosses to confirm that, or you just have an, an early suspicion, um, it could it just the possibilities are, are wide open. Uh, and then some very clever punny clues here, some sort of cryptic style clues in some cases. One's calling across the ocean. I mean, not a cryptic crossword style clue, but a... Um, a category of clue in a cryptic crossword called cryptic clue, which is sort of um, dispenses with the ordinary cryptic conventions and just has a sort of punny reference like this. And there were several of those in the puzzle. What else was there? Flew overseas, parasailed. That's very good. Um, ready to be driven, arguably teed. I mean, that's pretty clever, but it is, it is, this one is straightforward. It's not punny in any way. It's just a bit vague. You don't necessarily know what that's referring to. Uh, initially. 
one seeing stars upon waking, perhaps early riser. That's very clever. And join a boxer rebellion, go commando. Also very good. Um, yeah, just, just full of nice punny clues and a pretty tricky puzzle. I found it tricky anyway. Let me know how you fared with this one. Curious to know. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, it was good Friday challenge. And that's that for today's puzzle. I don't have time for the clues from yesterday from yesterday's puzzle, unfortunately. Um, I may or may not have a puzzle tomorrow. It depends if I um, have the sort of time and space to put it together. There will be a video on the crossword. If it's not the um, tomorrow's crossword, it will be the fourth edition of the, uh, that series of crosswords from, I think, October 2015, the sort of never before seen in a New York Times crossword week of puzzles. And I've solved three of those so far on other days in which I was unable to solve the New York Times crossword. And I yesterday made a playlist of those. So if you, um, if that turns out to be tomorrow's puzzle and you'd like to catch up on those, or if you'd like to catch up on them, regardless, there should be a playlist on the front page of the channel of Never Before Week. And there are three videos in there so far, and there may be a fourth tomorrow, or it might be Saturday's puzzle. We'll have to just see how the day goes. But in any case, that's it for today's crossword. Thank you for joining me. And um, do join me for whatever's on the channel tomorrow. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm -hmm.